Good morning, Calvary. Pastor Chad here with your word for the day, and I'm praying you have a great Wednesday today. Hey, have you ever been out of control? I mean, you know, like we're physically or emotionally or verbally, you just lost it. Uh, one of my most embarrassing memories is when Merelda and I were first dating. Uh, I think we'd been, you know, together for a few months, and we were in youth group, and, and as uh, she was leaving church one Sunday, uh, one of, our, one of her older friends, who was older than both of us, and, and I was flirting with her, and my brother saw it, and so when he came home from church, he started razzing me about, you know, my girlfriend flirting with this other guy, and I lost it, okay? I was lost. I was jealous. I was angry, and I stormed out of the house, and I drove to her house, and I knocked on her door hard, and said, we need to talk, and, and everything, and, and then after talking, I just felt like an idiot, it was like a, I felt like an idiot. Uh, Proverbs 25, 28 says, A man without self-control is like a city broken into and left without walls. A, a person who loses control is like a city who, who has been you know, sacked and the walls have been broken down. And, and that may not mean a whole lot to us right now because we don't live in cities with walls. But in the time this was written, a city without walls was defenseless, it was helpless, it wasn't safe. It had no strength and no security. See, the walls represented strength and safety. And so a, a person without self-control doesn't have strength or safety. So if you lack self-control, if you lose your temper easily, if you use your words viciously and then regret them, if you just lose it emotionally either vomiting on other people or just breaking down and, and sobbing, you're demonstrating weakness and that you're not safe. Think about that. Because uh, a lot of times we excuse our behavior and blame it on our heritage and things like that, and, and that's not the case. Living a self-controlled life communicates that you're willing to discipline yourself. You're, you're willing to take responsibility for your behaviors, for your words, even for your emotions. And, and when you communicate that, then you're telling people that you're safe to be with, that they can trust you with being vulnerable. I don't know about you, but that's something that I want to see in my life. Now, think about this too. Self-control is a fruit of the Holy Spirit. Galatians 5, the Apostle Paul says, for the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, Patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Against such things as these, there is no law. In other words, you can live free when you're living out the fruit of the Holy Spirit. And uh, so self-control is a fruit of the Holy Spirit. And self-control is a demonstration that you are surrendering your control to the Holy Spirit. And one of my favorite verses 2 Timothy 1.7 says, For God has not given us a spirit of fear, but a spirit of power and love and self-control. That's the spirit God's given us, is one of self-control. So um, if you struggle with self-control, stop excusing it. Stop blaming it on other people or other situations. Just ask God to teach you self-control. I dare you. I mean, none of us really like embracing self-control, but we don't want to be like a city whose walls have been broken down. We don't want to be, you know, unsafe and weak. So uh, ask God to teach you self-control. And then uh, go a step further, you know, attend Celebrate Recovery, Monday night, 6.30 at Sweetwater Campus, if you're in Havasu, uh, because you need some help developing self-control, and that's a great place to start. Maybe you might even need to consider counseling. You know, talk to somebody about why you're losing it and why you're out of control. Because, hear it again, a man without self-control is like a city broken into and left without walls. Uh, look, I want to live my life safe, secure, and strong. And I know you do too. And I hope this blesses you and helps you. Have a great day, Calvary.